What's up there guys? What's up? What's going on? I literally know nothing about this bike. I got it running. I did a valve job. I'm leaving that side cover off because that's how I need to start it. It definitely has a small engine knock, but I got it to take throttle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this for its first ride. I'm going to take it really slow for two reasons. Number one, I only have rear brakes. And number two, we don't know what the hell this thing is going to do. I got it running. I put better oil in it. I adjusted the valves, but it definitely has a little bit of engine stuff going on. So we're just going to take this really slow. I'm going to take this off the center stand. Uh, damn, this thing's heavy. Uh, we're going to try. Oh, God, the seat is really comfortable, though. Extremely comfortable. Let's see what this thing does for its first time. A little squeaky. <laughs> the rear brakes are slightly squeaky. Let's see if it can take any kind of power with a rider here. It definitely has a slight engine tapping though. Let me take it easy in this turn. This front tire is completely bald. Let me drop this down too. I'm not getting any warnings on the display, which is fine. It says that my engine is running good, so we know the thermostat is working properly. It's sitting at the halfway point. It says I have a half a tank of fuel. So let's just take this thing for a cruise. We'll take it down by the golf course next. It's idling, it's doing things. It's handling the throttle just fine. This thing feels really smooth. This is like the the best of both worlds, man. This is a cruiser scooter mixed with luxury class, mixed with like sport and town cruising. Just it feels good. This thing feels good to cruise. You step on that brake there and the thing slows down. Beautiful. Oh, it even handled that bump pretty good. Alright. Brakes. <laughs> Turn signal. Excellent. Let's give her some juice here. Let's open her up a little bit, see how she does. I'm almost at 40 miles an hour. We just hit 40 and I'm just I'm just holding the throttle. It'll take more. It'll take a lot more. But I'm just cruising. And then we'll go back to the house and we'll listen to the engine, see how it sounds after a cruise. Man, this thing just steers great. This thing is meant for the road. Holy mackerel, this thing is just a beautiful ride. This is a beautiful ride. And this is why the Honda Helix was said to be the best super scooter ever made. This is a replica of the Honda Helix mixed with some Honda Reflex. But, uh, yeah. The carb definitely needs a little bit of tuning. It's, it's very slow out the hole. That's the carburetor all day doing that. The gas air mixture probably needs to be adjusted a little bit. And it says I'm still running pretty cool, so we're going to keep riding that. So it's good that the thermostat and the cooling system are working properly. I have no warning lights, none whatsoever. No engine oil lights, total mileage, everything's good to go. Turn signal things work, yep, yep. Let's cruise this thing down to the end here. I want to take this for a good ride before I sign off on it. I'm just touching it. If I give it more, it'll go fast. Like it'll jump up there really quick. But like I said, it's uh, there's no there's really no point, man. I already hear a little bit of engine noise coming out of this thing, so this is more of just a cruising scooter. Just out, out cruise it. Man, is this thing smooth. So here's what we're gonna do next. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I have to do that test and see if it's gonna Go out into traffic comfortably So what we're gonna do is go down make a left 
We're going to take this all the way down to uh, Whiteway, Bua, something like that, and then we'll make the left-hand turn. I'm just cruising, man. That's all we're going to do. We're going to get out here. We're going to open it up, make sure it hits like 50, 55 comfortably. It's not making too many crazy noises or vibrations. Hit the turn signal. Wow, this thing is so comfortable. It's like sitting on a on a seat cushion, man. It's like just made for you. You just lean back and just it, it feels like a good cruiser bike. You can just really lay into this nicely. All right. Pop my visor open here so I can breathe. It's definitely going to be kind of a hot one today. So now that I've been riding it, the engine actually sounds a little bit better. It sounds smoother. Maybe it just needed a little bit of runtime. That was all it needed. The fan just came on, so the cooling system's working properly. I can hear the fan. Sounds good. All right, let's get her out here. Let's get her out here. Let's open her up a bit. All right, there's 40, 45. Let me just give her a bit more throttle, make sure we can hit 50 comfortably. She's riding 50, 51. I still got more throttle. She'll go. All right. I'm gonna have to pop my visor open and have a listen. All right, it sounds a lot better than when we first started this ride. I'm gonna be honest with you, 100% better. It sounds way, 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 way better than when we first kicked off this ride. The engine's not knocking like it was. So let's put some fresh gas in this thing. Let's see how it does. Come on, come on, come on, cars and traffic, let's go. It's always the, the putts are at the back end that screws it up for you. You can hear a little bit off the wall. However, it's not, it's not really that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was, so. Maybe a full oil change and we'll see how this thing does. It's taking throttle, it's not overheating, I have no warning lights. Cooling system's working properly. I'll just have to tune this thing a bit more. It'll probably run better with proper gas air. With the proper airflow, it'll probably run better. <laughs> This left here. Oh, he got over here pretty early. All right, let's have a listen to this thing. <laughs> 